Robbie Reyes isn't a ghostwriter. It all comes to a head in Ghost Rider number 8 when Robbie is confronted by Johnny Blaze and Robbie's powers are revealed to be the result of supernatural possession by a dead Satanist and homicidal maniac named Eli Morrow. Blaze states, I've seen the foulest souls, mortal and immortal alike, but nothing like yours, Morrow. You'll repent for the decades of suffering and torture you have brought upon the innocent. Spirits of vengeance are so ruthless that they have to be bonded with human souls to balance their thirst for revenge with morality and compassion. Robbie isn't a traditional spirit of vengeance. He's a young man in high school struggling with abandonment issues, working a full-time job, hustling to make ends meet while raising his brother with special needs. He does all that while simultaneously fighting for control against Morrow, who wants to continue his homicidal spree. I'm not a fan of most legacy characters like Kamala Khan or Hulkling and question why Blaze allowed Rez to continue to operate as a writer instead of sending his spirit to everlasting damnation. But, I came to appreciate the internal battle Robbie has with Morrow. 